Hello everyone, it's me again. Uh, on today's topic, I'm going to be talking about like what Ubisoft is pretty much doing to, or in response to the Xbox One's lack of, how should I say this, power, and I don't want to use that term or lack of like it's weaker than most and what Ubisoft is doing is saying in order to prevent these arguments from for the escalating from oh Xbox One can't do 1080p it's only doing 100p and so on and so forth um I want to debunk this and I want to call bullshit on it um Pretty much what I think this is, is Ubisoft is trying to put a limit on what the consumer gets, and it's to a certain degree, they want to stop this from going on, apparently, which I don't understand why. Here's my take on this. The uh, Microsoft is to blame for the lack of power that the Xbox One has they are to blame and you're punishing a whole other group because they can do 1080p on their console and the Xbox One cannot and apparently you're not bringing the Assassin's Creed Unity to the Wii U which I don't understand either because you know that does 1080p that that that's another thing. As far as I know, the Xbox One is the only console that can't do 1080p natively with multiplats. Um, granted, that the Wii U doesn't really get multiplats that often anyway. But still, um, but back on the topic at hand. And I'm talking to, here's my take on it again. If you want to limit, if you want to put a limit on what one massive fan base has, just because you say you're tired of hearing it, that isn't going to work. I'm voting with my wallet. I haven't bought an Assassin's Creed game myself since 2009. 2009. Assassin's Creed 2 was still relevant then. Best one in the series, in my opinion. Uh, Ubisoft, you've just made... You've made disappointments this whole entire year. Watch Dogs was a disappointment, and now you're going to make this a disappointment by toning it down just because one competitor couldn't hang. And that is Microsoft's fault. They had anemic hardware in there. Why? To focus on the Kinect. That's what made the Xbox One seem anemic. That's why I can't do 1080p natively. Not that I care. You know, a game's a game. I'll play it anyway. I think, to be honest with you, I think all this resolution crap is just a way to get the fanboys going, and I don't understand it. And here's and another thing, too. I don't have an Xbox One out of principle. I don't have one out of principle because if I were to buy one, somewhere down the line, they're going to put that DRM back in. They are going to force all this stuff back in because, believe it or not, that code is still in the system somewhere. All they would have to do is reinstate it and then you'd have DRM again. Uh, but Ubisoft is a disappointment. They are really a disappointment. I will probably not buy another game from them. If I do it'll be used and this is just out of principle. They don't deserve my hard earned money, at least from this year's standpoint. So that's pretty much my take on that. And another thing.
One more thing. How much you bet they lock the ability to go 1080p on the PS4 on a disc? How much you bet? Because I can see that happening. Now, here's... And I'm not faulting the anyone that develops this. Well, I kind of am. Or should I say I'm faulting the CEO because he runs things. Why would you want a system to, like, something that's more powerful to be chopped down? If someone hears the system is more powerful, the multiplex look the best on that system, you'll get more money from that system than you would the, set, the third place competitor now. <laughs> the and that's something I won't understand about Ubisoft. They're not thinking about this from a business perspective. They're not thinking about it from a logical standpoint. What they're doing makes no sense. It really doesn't. It makes no sense at all. That 900, that, that, this whole resolution thing is something I'd like to say it's kind of like the Bit Wars were back in the 90s. I'm not too sure on that. Someone that was playing video games around that era could correct me. If you would, I would really appreciate it. Um, but this is something that kind of reminds me of what I've heard about the Bit Wars was... Oh, this has more bits on screen than that. It can have more colors, you know. And this, it, again, it doesn't make much sense to me. Why would you want to limit, much less the leading platform right now, why would you want to limit that? Just, the, the fan base for that shouldn't have to suffer because one freaking competitor can't, hang with the other. I mean, that's stupid. Oh, you don't want to hear it. Too bad you're going to hear it anyway, because all these fanboys are going to do is go, oh, oh, this one's better. The graphics look better on that. If it's not about the resolution, it'll be about the graphics. If it's not about the graphics, it'll be about the frame per second. you got to realize that. But you won't. Because you're getting too big for your britches. Your ego is getting in the way. Because you have money. <clears throat> oh my god. The stupidity of these companies never amazes me. <laughs> I mean, it never ceases to amaze me. It really does. Uh, I mean, <laughs> my god. Just, why would you want to limit... The leading platform, nonetheless. Uh, you know what? It's kind of seeming to me like Microsoft kind of paid them off a bit. But I don't know. So I'm not going to make that accusation because I don't want to start a massive flame war with both sides, even though my, vi my videos don't get m many comments. I'm sorry I'm stuttering. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. Um, but, you know, it kind of makes me wonder, is this whole thing with the 900p thing something Ubisoft did on their own, or did Microsoft pay them off? And hell, maybe even they will lock the 1080p thing on a disc, kind of like what Capcom did with their DLC. But, I don't know. I'm not at liberty to make that call. These are just assumptions. Food for thought. Tell me what you think down below. And, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, see you guys later. Goodbye.